welcome back. Today we're taking a look at something a little different. It is actually an in-scale locomotive. This is the Bachmann K4. It is equipped with DCC and sound. So the sound is from Soundtracks. So this little locomotive can make noise. And the from what I've seen from Bachmann and in-scale, a lot of nice noises are coming out of this. Uh, a lot of noises that you'd expect to hear from full-blown HO scale items. So this is a sound value DCC decoder installed, which means there's a limited functionality, but you still have sound. And so let's take a look at this Pennsylvania Railroad number 5448K4, starting right now. Let's unbox this cute little feller here, the K4. Bachman's got this clear box thing going on for their in-scale stuff. It's pretty cool. I don't know, I just like it because it's easy to unbox locomotives, which makes my life easy. I say that as, of course, I comically struggle with this one. But there's some Bachman literature tucked away, and they're masters of really utilizing space here. You've got the warranty card. It's folded up in the bottom. And tucked back here with some precise folding skill is both this form, which goes over a quick start kind of guide. It is a quick start guide, imagine that. But knowing this too long, it just comes naturally to me. And it goes over how to get things going in detail, operating in DCC, throttle features, etc. You need to take an iron to it to really show you guys what's going on there. And you get your one year warranty with Bachman products purchased in the US and Canada. So, and then a DCC on board, DCC equipment. Equipped locomotive operation talks about using it with easy command, which is their DCC system and other DCC systems. But you guys didn't come for boring paperwork stuff, you came for a locomotive, and that's what we have here in the box. So, in scale always freaks me out a little bit, because A, I've got jittery hands, there's no way I could be a neurosurgeon. Um, there is still a way I can be a model railroader, but usually larger scales. But they're just so small and packed with so much detail, they kind of freak me out in touching them. But now that it's out of the box, let's go ahead and take a closer look by zooming in and taking a look at some detail. I tell you, these in-scale locomotives are so intricate, I don't know how they do it. People sit around with tweezers all day or something, but you've got coupler cut levers, levers here. You have the Bachman Easy Make coupler plastic coupler with a metal or with a uh, trip pin magnetic trip pin got the headlight that's high mounted rivet detail all around the smoke box door you can see the hinge detail on the smoke box door as well and even very closely you can see handrails on there you've got the lead trucks here that move freely for navigating those little in scale curves you've got the drivers and the side rods and all the main rod gear here you have the boiler main area, you've got a tiny little bell, it's fixated, doesn't move, smokestack does not have operating smoke, they would have to be ninjas and magicians to be able to fit that in a smoke unit in this unit. Um, you've got the nice boiler detail with a walkway area and the handrails, which are located along the sides here. As you work your way towards the cab, you've got a cab vent that does not slide open, it's fixated. A, a lot of detail, rivet detail down here. You've got a ladders and trailing trucks here that swing freely for operation around those curves as well. You've got a nice cab with interior details. So small, I don't know how I could get a camera there, but they have backhead boiler detail. And I can even see like a, a boiler area back there you've got coal you have Pennsylvania and obviously the cab number nicely visible and, and legible uh, whether you need a magnification or not is up to your eyesight but overall it's it's really nicely done I'm gonna flip this around here 
kind of operating on a small area because my layout isn't quite ready just to have locomotives laying on it. But on the other side, you can see that tender with the water hatches, the ladder, the coupler cut lever, that rear easy mate coupler, the trucks with the nice truck detail on the tender. And it's just, just really well done uh, locomotive in appearance. Now before we see if it actually holds up to an operation test and does well in operation, let's take a quick look at the weight. So now we're going to weigh this. This was actually a request from a few viewers uh, that are into the N-scale thing to weigh these. I don't know what these numbers mean as much as I know what they mean in HO, but we got 4.6 ounces. We have 0.129 kilograms and we have 129 grams on this K4 steam locomotive. So take that as you will. Those are just the weight numbers uh, for those of you who need it. All right, we're going to go through some sounds here. Um, F0 is the headlight. Obviously not a sound, but just a function. And I'm checking that out right now. I'll show that to you. It's a Pretty dim headlight, but very prototypical looking. F1 is the bell. Very nice sound coming out of an N scale. F2 whistle. F3 short whistle. F4 is the steam release. F5 is NA, F6 is smoke, which just doesn't have, F7 is dimmer, and F8 is mute. Let's go ahead and look at operation real quick with moving at one speed step out of 126. Here are the chuffs. It's one, two speed steps, three, four, five, six, seven and eight and we'll check reverse real quick it's one there I just had to I jumped to two by accident so that's one two three four five six seven and eight so as you can tell, this locomotive really moves, and it moves smoothly. I don't do the high speeds because everybody has seen flying locomotives go around, but I do the lower speeds just to kind of show you decoder control, which this has really good decoder control for such a small steam locomotive. Well, that about wraps the review up. Let's finish with some closing thoughts. Well, that wraps up our review on the Bachman K4 it's steam locomotive. Now they really kind of surprised everybody at the National Train Show by announcing this and having it ready for release. And so it's releasing in stores right now. So it's pretty cool locomotive in the N-Scale world. Something that uh, makes you want to turn to N-Scale. The only thing that kind of keeps me away from it is I'm jittery and getting old. So overall, great locomotive. We'll talk to you later. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time right here on my channel. Take care.